Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, welcome back. I am Megnius and this is Kerbal Space Program. So recently one of my subscribers asked me, Megnius, please do a space plane episode. And this is true, I haven't yet done a space plane episode, so you know what? I think we should do one. It's going to be awesome. So first of all, as most of you probably know, you can fly space planes. You can make space planes and fly them. Sometimes they make it into the atmosphere, most of the time they don't because your designs are crap. So first, I'm going to start off by showing off the Albatross 3, which is a preloaded space plane that comes with the game. And I'll show off my own designs later. Now, when I first loaded this and I looked at it, first of all, this plane looks amazing. Or so I thought. So, yeah, look at that thing. Look how cool it looks. It even has, like, a little ladder that comes out. And I never even thought of using the extendable ladder like that before on a space plane. So we're we're just gonna fly this. We're gonna launch it. We're gonna we're gonna try it out just so you can see what a space plane looks like when it's flying and what the general idea of a space plane is. Okay, and very important for you guys to notice. Look at the way that the wings are shaped. They produce thrust. I did not notice this at first when building my own space planes, and it was a terrible, terrible failure. So throttle is up and. Let's let's go ahead and try this. Boom! We have Durden Kerman, and we're we're gonna see if we can take off. Watch as the wings pull up due to the lift, and hopefully, yes, yes, we have lift off. See, look how fast that happened. And then you just control it the way that you would control anything else using your nav ball, pushing up and down. Oh, we're overheating. Turn on SAS. Oh, it wobbles. Oh my goodness. It wobbles way too much. Okay, overheating is down. Very good. Over there in the distance, you can see some nav markers for another albatross, actually, that I flew over there and then crash landed. And we're going to go see if we can check that out. Oh, my goodness. These, these are hard to fly. Just say no because you have momentum going in one particular direction. They're also quite loud, actually. And when you try to turn, you basically start to roll. So that's that's a major problem with space planes. The rolling. This is assuming that you have like large wings. But yeah, let's see if we can make it over there. Some of you who play Kerbal Space Program are probably well aware of what's over there, actually. It is the... Uh, some people call it the secret runway, but it's not really a secret because everyone already knows about it. But there's a runway over there that you can try to make it to if you're decent at flying space planes, which uh, I'm not, in case you haven't noticed. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. Oh, good lord. So we're gonna we're gonna try to make it over there, but I'm not gonna make it all the way because I really don't want to spend that much time on this this design because although this design is very cool, very awesome, it uh, it has two engines, it has two large fuel tanks which are actually being pushed into the middle. Well, not not here. This one in the middle is actually being pushed to the two engines. So it has a lot of fuel, but only two engines. And it works. It works great. It's wonderful. But uh, I want to use my own design to try to make it over there. It's probably not going to work as well. Actually, do I still? Yeah, I still have my landing gear down. That's, that's dumb. All right, landing gear. Remember to pull up the landing gear. All right, so... This is what happens when you don't care about how you're flying anymore. Hey, I rolled. It's good. Oh my goodness. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, okay. So we're going to end this flight. We're going to go over to my other designs and show them off because this one is not mine. I'm going to end the flight. Go back to space plane hangar. Alright. So let's look at my designs. I, I made two designs that I wanted to try out. One I call the Sparrow Mark 1. The Sparrow, as you can tell, is small. That's why it's called the Sparrow. I, I have no idea what I'm doing with this, actually. Is this even... Yeah, they're, they're sort of tilted a little bit. Um. Yeah, this probably isn't going to fly, but you know what? Let's try it anyway. I wanted to make it as small as I could, but uh, it's it's probably... Probably too small. But we'll see. Well, it didn't blow up yet. That's nice. Alright, throttle up. And let's go. It has no SAS, by the way.
Oh god, why? Oh! Oh my god. I, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, so that, that design's pretty terrible. It's, uh... Alright, let's go back to Space Plane Hangar. Uh, yeah, I, I knew that wasn't going to fly. It probably has tons of problems. I, I don't even know how to find out what all the problems are in this. But, uh... Mr. Swiggles is still sick, by the way. Wish him you... Wish him the best. Hope he gets sick and get better and, you know, not continue dying for the next two weeks. Has it been two weeks now, Mr. S yeah, he's been sick for like two weeks. It's terrible. It's pretty terrible. He says it's not bad. He's lying. Uh, the Kerbin Hawk Mark One. Let's let's see if I can fly the Kerbin Hawk. This this is a more advanced design that uh, I sort of based it on the Albatross. I extended the wings significantly and I made the wings slanted to produce thrust. Uh, I, I'm not really sure if like this is a very good design, of course, but we're gonna try it out anyway. Maybe, maybe it'll work. And uh, I'm actually gonna try this one multiple times because I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that this particular model can fly. I've sort of gotten it off the ground before and such, so we're gonna and go ahead and try this. Pretty sure this doesn't have SAS either, which is very dumb of me, but you know what? Whatever. Alright. 50 meters per second. My wings are lifting. Oh no. Okay. So, moral of the story there is do not turn while. Oh my gosh. Okay, restart, restart. I swear we're gonna get this, like, into the air before the end of this episode, because I know that I can. I know it's possible. It's just a matter of getting it done. Alright, let's go. Come on, Kerbin Hawk. Gently. 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 No, no. Uh, oh, no. Okay, so I'm I'm basically done trying to turn it. Um, what the? All right. Let's restart the flight. Okay, we're we're totally gonna get this into the air. This this is no problem. All right. Like, don't even worry your precious little head over this. We're we're totally gonna make this work. Archibald Kerman. Archibald. You are the chosen one. Let's go. Let's get this done. Maybe, maybe if we can get over here off the run. Oh. I'm sorry, Archibald. I'm sorry. Ugh. Right, maybe, maybe I should start off with like lower thrust and then make it increase later. Yeah, let's let's try that. Maybe that'll keep me slow enough to where I can actually guide myself to stay on the runway. All right. Stay on the runway. Stay straight. All right. Oh no. Oh sorry. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try purposefully to get off the runway because the runway is actually not flat on the ground and that, that just causes problems. I don't appreciate that very much. So let's try to get off the runway. If we can get off the runway, I think it's okay. Let's see. One turn. To turn that way. Yes. Slowly, slowly. Please don't die. Please don't die. Oh, oh, no. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Throttle up. This, my friends, this is our moment. I really hope that's okay. 
we, we lost a part of our wing. Hopefully the thrust, not the thrust, the lift over here isn't greater than here, causing us to spin. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Sigh. I know this can fly. I've sort of flown it before. We can do this. Yeah, to my one subscriber who said, Oh yes, Magnus, you know, space planes, they seem really easy to make. I saw this one guy make a space plane with only seven parts. It'll be super easy, just do it. Yeah, no, space planes are not super easy to make. They are indeed bothersome and... Oh god, what have I done? Ah, <sighs> sigh. So, despite the fact that I know this can fly, I'm, uh... I'm apparently sucking over and over and over at actually getting it off the ground, so... I would I would really hate for this episode to go by I me mean, never be able to get this thing off the ground, so... Let us hope. Fly. Fly, damn you. Okay, so apparently what I have to do to keep it straight is to hold down. Yeah, if I try to pull up constantly, then it'll hold it straighter. That's that's good. Okay, here comes the end of the runway. And... Oh, here we go! We have flight! Yes! Yes! Oh, we, we are officially flying, ladies and gentlemen. We're not flying very well, mind you. But we are indeed increasing in altitude. Nice. Very nice. Alright. Let's let's see if we can slowly turn. Slowly. If you turn too sharply, you go into a roll due to the force of air hitting your aircraft from the side, because momentum exists in Kerbal Space Program. We slowly have to turn. Turn. Almost 500 meters. Very nice. Considering how crap- look at this, I'm, I'm like flapping my wings to stay in the air. Considering how terrible this design is, I'm, I'm like really proud. Yeah, Archibald, look at that. Look at that, Archibald, you are flying. I would fly from IVA, but IVA view in this cockpit actually doesn't let you see out of the cockpit. There are no windows, you're just in like a tin can. It's really strange, actually. Very nice, look at that. Oh, yeah, I should c actually continue pulling my nose up so that we don't fall into the ocean. That would be bad. Okay, good. We're we're still climbing. Going to going to keep an eye on my my plane so that I don't continue to fall. Yeah, lack of SAS is a bad thing, guys. Always always put SAS on everything you build. Particularly ASAS is very useful, but only one of them. And uh, when we start getting closer to the runway, I'm going to try to turn this, but heavens, heavens knows if it's going to, it's going to actually work out well. I think actually we have a Kerbal over there from the, uh, the fallen albatross. Such a weird, oh, my landing gear, landing gear up. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bad pilot, everyone. Just, just ignore that. Oh yeah, a couple of a couple of things for news. Uh, happy New Year's, guys. I completely forgot that, you know, January 1st came around, and I should have probably said Happy New Year's in another video, like yesterday. But there you go, Happy New Year for today. S things to talk about also. We have reached 50 subscribers, that's really awesome, and totally... Oh god, we're falling, we're falling. And totally something that... Oh no, 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 no. Oh god. Oh god. Hold, 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 hold. Oh, we're we're crashing, we're crashing, we're going down. We're going Oh my god, what is happening? Oh, oh why am I talking? Oh we're we're seriously oh god. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh Oh, sigh, that, that was utterly depressing. Okay, so, yeah, on, on that, we're just gonna, we're gonna sit here on the runway. 
So we've reached 50 subscribers, that's awesome. I completely suck at flying space planes. I promise if I make a better design, we'll fly that one later. But this one is really, really bad, guys. So <laughs> let's let's not do this anymore for now. But we reached 50 subscribers, that's awesome. Motivates me to make more videos. Please, if you guys have any comments about this video, other videos, things you want to see on the channel, anything for that matter, things you hate, things you like, things you want to see, please let me know down in the comments. If you like this video and others, give them likes, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And this this was Magnius absolutely failing at space planes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.